हेलो एवरीबॉडी दिस इज मी खालिद महाराज मलिक एज यूजल इन द स्पेल ऑफ वीडियो लेक्चर्स सो टुडे वी शैल बी स्टार्टिंग अवर मैग्नेटिज्म यूनिट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग दैट वी दैट वी स्टडी एज अ बिग पोर्शन इन द इलेक्ट्रिकल कोर्स इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग कोर्स ओके वट इज द रिलेशन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक मैग्नेटिक सॉरी मैग्नेटिज्म टू दैट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी and what are the magne what are the magnetism parameters to be studied which are be really essential for the electrical studies let us see today okay magnetism unit is magnetism the unit is magnetism okay starting off with a very सिंपल कॉन्सेप्ट लेट एस है ब्लॉक ऑफ सम मटेरियल द ब्लॉक बी लाइक दिस द ब्लॉक बी लाइक दिस फॉर आवर कॉन्वीनियंस अ क्यूबॉइडल ब्लॉक ओके इट हेज स्मॉल मॉलिक्यूल्स इन इट आर द क्लस्टर्स ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल क्लस्टर्स ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स लेट एस कॉल दम elements are what whatsoever magnetic elements okay when this when this block when this block of material this is unmagnetized it has no magnetic field, magnetic effect on it its molecules they are they are aligned in different directions like this like this but when this when this when this block of material this is magnetized magnetized this will become like this this will become like this all its small clusters or molecules they will be aligned in one particular direction it is not necessary that they will be perfectly aligned they can be partially aligned as well okay so one one part of a molecule one portion of a molecule same similar portions of the molecules all together as an aggregate they will face one direction and the other similar portions of molecules they will face the another direction this will cause a polarity this we call in our simple terminology let it be north pole or this be south pole for our convention purpose there is no such thing like north pole or south pole it is only the difference of polarity but we call it north and south pole for the sake of our convention okay internally they internally they make a path which externally completes like this in the in the uh, shape of some lines in the shape of certain lines so the lines can be denser or the lines can be rarer the lines can be denser or the lines can be rarer now those are called magnetic field lines now coming to the another part how much is this substance or material magnetized what causes the magnetization that is another topic to be dis uh, discussed how much is this substance magnetized is the extent of magnetization this can be partially magnetized this can be wholly magnetized or this can be unmagnetized the alignment of its clusters or molecules or whatever are they okay so the extent of the extent of how much are, how much are they magnetized is called magnetization magnetization extent 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 of polarity in some substance say this block magnetization is given by a letter m in the magnetism okay we have assigned it a letter m 
to magnetization okay now we shall come upon another definition magnetic field strength okay it is given by h magnetic field strength is given by h suppose we have certain magnetic field lines like this and certain and we have suppose a unit north pole one unit north pole here close to this magnetic uh, magnetic field those lines make the magnetic field and if those lines are more denser the magnetic field will be more intensier the magnetic field will be more intensier and if they are there the magnetic field will be weak feeble so what will this what will this unit north pole do this will experience a force because of those lines this will experience a force because of those lines the force experienced by this unit north pole because of those magnetic field lines that is called magnetic field strength r h it is a vector quantity what is it it is a vector vector quantity it is basically a force force experienced by a unit by a unit north pole in a magnetic field that is magnetic field strength h okay then now another definition i am not writing the definitions i am narrating them orally so that you may write them after pausing the video you may write them on your notebook okay magnetic field strength now magnetic flux density here in this magnetic field strength we have discussed about this unit north pole how much is this force experiences experiencing because because of this magnetic field magnetic field is made by what magnetic lines of force and the magnetic field will be more if those are denser magnetic field will be feeble if those are rarer so magnetic flux density it defines how much are the lines there uh, uh denser or rarer okay here b is here b is small means magnetic flux density is defined by uh, uh given by a letter b because the lines are rarer b is small but here magnetic flux density b will be more magnetic flux density here will be more okay let us do one more thing wiping this out now suppose we have magnetic lines of force and we bring some material some uh, sheet of some material let the sheet be like this when those magnetic lines of force are when this magnetic field will cross this sheet the sheet of area a Uh, this uh, magnetic uh, magnetic flux density is given by b the area of the sheet is area a those magnetic lines of force will create a flux in this will create a flux in this uh, sheet so called magnetic flux density how much is a flux denser how much is a flux denser will create a flux in this now what is flux we shall be studying in uh, next sections from here let us say magnetic flux is phi b is equal to b 
डॉट ए मीन्स मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स डेंसिटी इन टू द एरिया ऑफ सम मेटेरियल शीट दैट कम्स अक्रॉस दिस बी डॉट ए इज इक्वल टू बी ए कॉस थीटा ओके सो इफ थीटा इज इक्वल टू जीरो डिग्री देन कॉस थीटा इज इक्वल टू वन देन फाइव बी विल बी मैक्सिमम इफ थीटा इज इक्वल टू नाइनटी डिग्री देन बी ए कॉस थीटा विल बी जीरो आर द फ्लक्स देर विल बी नो फ्लक्स इंड्यूस्ड इन दिस शीट ऑफ एरिया ए वेन विल बी ए कॉस थीटा बी जीरो एट नाइनटी डिग्री नाइनटी डिग्री वेन द एंगल बिटवीन बी वेन द एंगल बिटवीन मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स डेंसिटी एंड द एंड द शीट इट विल बी वट इट विल बी इट विल बी नाइनटी डिग्रीज एंड वेन इट विल बी द मैक्सिमम वेन विल द फ्लक्स बी मैक्सिमम वेन द एंगल वेन द एंगल इज वेन द एंगल बिटवीन दिस बी एंड ए दिस शीट एंड दिस मैग्नेटिक मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज जीरो डिग्रीज ओके सो डन विद दिस कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट सेक्शन Okay. One more thing that we have to do from here. Magnetic flux density B has the units. Weber per meter square. We can also justify it from the equation phi is equal to b dot a or b is equal to flux upon area. Flux is given in Weber's and area is given in meter square. So again, this forms Weber upon meter square from this definition. Also, now B has another one formula. B is equal to mu or mu naught h. This is the relation between magnetic field strength and magnetic flux density. This is the relation for The, this is the formula for relation between magnetic field strength and strength and magnetic field intensity. What is mu r and mu naught? Mu r is the relative perme permeability of some medium, and mu naught is the permeability of vacuum. Together they make mu r, mu naught makes total permeability. What is permeability now? Permeability, permeable. How much is some substance permeable? How much does a substance allow the magnetism to pass through magnetic force to pass through that is permeability okay this is formula first so another formula for b is here first of all let us define b is another formula for b is mu naught into h plus m what is m m is magnetization the extent of the extent of uh, the magnetic field that makes the extent of polarity that a magnetic field makes in a in a block in a block in a block of some material as we have already discussed somewhere here that we have wiped out okay here one more definition will be there let us write it down here magnetic susceptibility magnetic magnetic susceptibility it is given by a sign like x in english or zeta what is magnetic susceptibility magnetic susceptibility is a ratio it is a ratio of what It is a ratio. It is a ratio of uh, by by a picture. Let me depict it. Extent of magnet. Um, extent of polarity or magnetization. 
divided by the strength let this be a hand what does hand uh, what does hand depict it depicts depict the strength the magnetization m divided by strength of magnetic field or magnetic field strength uh, it is given by the, uh, given by the alphabet h so here we have magnetic susceptibility also magnetic susceptibility is given by m upon h this implies what is magnetization here here this is magnet magnetization this is magnetic field strength and what is this this is magnetic flux density okay so what will magnetization here will be magnetization here will be like this putting this in this above equation this will be magnetic flux density will equal to mu naught into h plus magnetic susceptibility into h or b will be equal to mu naught into h into 1 plus 1 plus magnetic susceptibility okay so here we have the here we have the relationship between uh, magnetic flux density and magnetic susceptibility this is the relationship between them so what is the extra thing we could have left in between this yes the value of this uh, relative permeability the value of relative permeability relative per relative permeability mu r has the value 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 henry per meter so how many formulas have we done formula 1 formula second moreover formula third formula third one more formula this formula has also been done phi is equal to b dot a this is one another formula for flux although flux has some other formulas also that will be the workable formulas in this chapter of magnetism this much is not this this formula is not very much required but this is essential uh, this is an essential formula so as to get the units Weber per meter square for magnetic flux density. So we have, uh, we are now acquainted with certain terms like what is magnetic susceptibility, what is magnetization, uh, what is magnetic flux density B, what is uh, magnetic field strength H extra. So uh, in today's lecture, let it be up to here. In the next lectures, we shall be studying about MMF and air gap extra. Okay, thank you very much.